Hey, welcome to uh, my session on uh, real estate taxation. Uh, just as a way of introduction, I'm going to get into it a little bit more uh, beyond this. But my name's John Haslack, John K. Haslack, my middle name. I'm a CPA. I have a master's in taxation. Uh, that's my phone number, but probably the best way to get in touch with me is at that email address, jkh cpams at aol.com and uh, my webpage which we are going to be working on it's just really uh, it's it's in its infancy, infancy right now uh, it, right now it's going to be free but uh, we're going to end up uh, you know having memberships for it uh, various prices depending on what you want to do how much information what we're planning on doing is having all types of videos in there teaching you about uh, taxation of uh, uh, your real estate investment, how to reduce that, um, how to, you know, different properties to look at, the way to look at properties, uh, how to analyze deals. Um, we're going to talk about all different types of things. So, uh, like I said, currently it's free. Uh, eventually we will get to where we are charging for that. This is an introductory uh, video because I've never used this software before. Um, and I want to get used to it. So I'm going to do this, get it up there. Uh, on YouTube and get going with it okay now let me just start with why is it important to have an understanding of, of how your investment in real estate is taxed okay now we have a uh, new president coming in he promises big changes of course you have no idea what's going to happen with it uh, we do have a Republican Congress so uh, you know there's a good chance he will get more of things that he wants than uh, Obama did uh, but you just never know where these things are going to end up. You know, somebody who's been doing this for over 30 years, uh, I've seen changes on the day they uh, they signed a bill into law. Okay, so you just don't know where things are going to end up. But right now, the top federal income tax rate is 39.6 percent. The top, if you happen to live in New York State, if you happen to uh, live in New York City, uh, I don't, but that is where I am located. Um, those top rates are. Top federal income tax rate 39.6 percent. New York State 8.82. New York City 3.642. That's a total of 52 percent, over 52 percent. That that does not even uh, include uh, Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act, which is like another 3.8 percent tax. So your tax could be well over 55 percent. That means, uh, you know, you have the income that you're, you get from your property. You have all your expenses. You have your real estate taxes that you pay on that property. When you buy things for repairs and maintenance, you're paying sales tax. When you're driving around to those properties, you're paying excise taxes. Your cell phone, you have excise taxes. In addition to that, there's another 52, 55% tax. 55% of your money, the government's taken. So it behooves you to legally uh, figure out ways, learn ways, of uh, saving as much money as you possibly can okay and that's what we're all about we don't do anything illegal I'm not going to jail uh, to save some income taxes uh, we do everything legal but and, and that's what we're here for we're going to show you how to do that now who am I okay as I told you John K Haslack uh, I have an undergraduate degree in accounting I had a minor in finance I have a graduate degree in taxation I am a certified public accountant. I have over 30 years experience. Uh, I am currently the tax director CFO for a large New York City real estate investment firm. Okay, And I teach real estate taxation at New York University, NYU, one of the premier universities in the country uh, and one of the, the premier, premier uh, real estate schools in the country. Uh, prior to this position, I was with Ernst & Young's real estate group in uh, tax group in New York City, the Big Apple. Um, somebody said, I think some writer said quite a while ago, um, there's only three cities in the U.S., uh, New York, San Francisco, and uh, New Orleans. Everything else is, uh, is Cleveland, not to not Cleveland. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of people that hate New York City, not crazy about New York City, but, you know, um, I love New York City. New York City's fun. That's where the big stuff is. That's where I know what's going on. Um, you know, the big real estate deals are there. Uh, a lot of big businesses are there. Wall Street. Uh, I love the hustle bustle of New York. So um, now, currently, the firm I'm with uh, has properties in over 25 states, a lot of cities, Canada, Germany, uh, Anguilla, and the Netherlands. We just bought a couple of things. So in this class, 
what we're going to talk about is federal income tax treatment of your investing in real estate. Talk to you about how they take it, how, how the government takes uh, half of your profit, and uh, we're going to talk about legal ways to minimize that tax bite, okay? There's nothing wrong with legally minimizing the tax bite that the government has uh, on, your, on your real estate income, okay? And real estate, as opposed to all other types of businesses, has a lot, a lot of tax advantages. That's why Mr. Trump, um, and, and by the way, when Mr. Trump, when Donald Trump owned uh, the GM building in New York, I did the tax work on it, okay? I was a tax guy at the time. Uh, it was When he sold it, it was the largest uh, real estate sale in the country, $1.4 billion. I never dealt with him directly, um, but I did deal on that building. Uh, I did all the tax work on that building, okay? So we're also going to talk about uh, state and local tax issues, and we're going to talk about uh, foreign investment in U.S. real estate and U.S. investment in foreign real estate. Uh, initially, we won't go into too much detail. We can go into a lot more detail later on. And the real reason I do the foreign stuff is uh, more and more you see um, uh, people from outside the U.S. investing in U.S. real estate and people.